Road closed, except the bikes. That's right. Good morning, my friends, from the base of Mount Evans, Colorado. We're gonna do a big one today. We're gonna ride our bikes up to the top of Mount Evans. This, by the way, is the tallest, highest paved road in all of North America. And the great thing about today, this whole season, is that the road is closed to cars, only bikes and pedestrians. It's closed because of COVID, I think. And of course, I wouldn't want to do this thing alone. I'm bringing along my favorite person in the whole world, your favorite person in the whole world. Make some noise for Dana. Rise and shine and go climb a mountain, mountain. <laughs> How you doing, Dana? I'm doing great. And we are riding the brand new Priority Apollo gravel bike. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Let me show you the coolest thing. Show, the, show them the coolest thing, Dana. Okay, look at that. Look at that orange. Rocket. Oh, the orange rocket. Dana likes the red rocket. I love it. <laughs> I will be doing a full review on this bike in another video. And of course, what's unique about this bike? All priority bikes have the carbon belt drive and some sort of internal gearing system. It's all about low maintenance, people. <laughs> ding, ding. Ready. Right. That way. <laughs> And here's a fun fact for all of you outside of Colorado. There are 53 14ers in this state. Is that right? I don't know. I don't know. I think there's 53 mountains over 14,000 feet. We in Colorado call them 14ers. And I've never biked to the top of a 14er. It's usually something you hike. Dana just reminded me. I forgot something very important. Dana, let's start. No flatties. No crashies. No whammies. No whammies. <laughs> Without cars, the, the probability of whammies are, are much lower, which is nice. Oh man, look at this. Woo, look at this. It keeps getting better! <laughs> and we still have a long way to go. Man, this is beautiful. I'm gonna have some big smile wrinkles after this ride. Dana, where are we at on the altimeter? 11, 999, 12,000! Yay! One nice thing about this mountain, even though it's the highest paved road in America, is that the grade is very friendly for cycling. It's only about five-ish at the steepest. Tell me when we hit 13,000. Okay. 13,000 feet. Okay. Are we there? No. Are we there yet? Three more. Three more feet. One. Ready. Two. Thirteen. 13. <laughs> right on. 13,000 feet. This is the highest I've been this summer. Nothing on the Great Divide was this high. Mile 
Final 10, four more to go. What's your favorite part about right now? <sighs> Being in my body, you can feel it. It's great, you just feel like, <sighs> my heart's going, I'm breathing, good to be alive, I'm grateful. Sharp turn, going right. Nice. Hairpin, going left. Arrow. Check it out, I made a friend. His name's Billy. What's up, bud? Only two miles to go. I feel like we're going too fast, Dana. We gotta slow it down. I know, I know. <laughs> we gotta enjoy this. Hello. The only people we're seeing up here are other cyclists and everybody has a big smile on their face. This is almost unheard of on top of a mountain here in Colorado, but there is literally zero wind. It is so nice and calm. Wow, we picked the right day. Cycle. <laughs> Look at that. Way to go. Amazing. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> that just made this day pretty much perfect. That woman rode a unicycle 14 miles up this road. <laughs> wow, she was in a hurry. I would have liked to have talked to her, but I'm proud of you. Dana, go Dana, go, go, go Dana. Yee Look at this. High five Dana. Woo! Yeah, we did it. We did. There's my Apollo bike. And there is Colorado. So Dana, we're not at the top? No, but we're so close. The top is right up there. So we're gonna hike it. We're going so we can do love shout outs. All right, let's do it. I think we made it to the top. Whoa! Woo! This is really cool. Oh my God. I've got a little bit of that dizzy feeling because I'm close to the edge, but woo, it feels good. <laughs> Yeah! Look at Dana on the edge! That's Brian, that's why I have my helmet on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love you, Rocky! I love you, Santa! I love you, Mom! They can certainly hear these love shout outs, whereas 
about as high as you can get in Colorado. And we live way over there. Woo! The echo is taking the love to them. So mountains always bring out my best thinking and deepest thoughts. And Dana said something to me earlier, and I would like her to share it with you because I think it's really important. Dana? Um, I had a birthday this summer and I turned 59. And ah, I'm so grateful for that. But it's occurring to me that, uh, you know, my brother passed when he was 49. And so I have lived 10 years longer and had all of those experiences and all of those journeys. But what I know is when people say like, oh, I'm getting older or, you know, they, they lie about their birthday or it's my 50th birthday for the ninth time and all that. I never ever do that because I'm so grateful for every single year and every single day. And I don't want to take a single one for granted. And today was one of those days. This is one of the best days ever. Like I'm standing on the top of a 14er. It's like 14.2. I don't know. In all of my 59 years, and I've done quite a few of them, it's never been this still, this calm, and this warm. Unbelievable. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Dana. It's such oh, a great day. This is such a great day. I yeah. love it. I love it. Yeah. And now we get to go down and have fun. Let's go down. Let's go down. And what do you say? Let's whoop and holler. Let's whoop and holler. Let's do it. <laughs> Please, uh, if you like this video, check out all my other videos. I have lots of adventures from all over the world. Like and subscribe and do all that fun stuff. Anything else? Patreon. Oh, Patreon, if yeah. you're feeling generous. Yeah. You know, I got a Patreon page and... Yeah. Um, I just hope that this inspires you to get out there and do your own ch little challenge. You know do it. Do it. <laughs> and I'll leave you with one last view. Da, da, da.